Christopher Moore last updated 1311, May 13, 2018 in the next room, or the vibrator play, examines the realities of marriage, love and the nature of intimacy. In the next room, or the vibrator play director, Melanie Luckman The Court Theatre, Christchurch, running until June 2nd Review by Christopher Moore Review, this is the ultimate feel-good play. So much so that the Court Theatre's program should guarantee audience satisfaction. Melanie Luckman's production of American playwright Sarah Rell's In the Next Room, or the vibrator play, comes as close to perfection as any stage work can decently get. So much so, that, after the first night, the majority of the audience probably left with a glow, Rell's elegant wit crackles and sparks, rather like Mr. Edison's wondrous electricity. It is dispatched with effortless flair by a cast who fill the stage with all those qualities which mark a night of outstandingly good theatre. Yes, this is a play about human relationships and sexuality. No, it is not some pure real sexual farce. In the next room is best described as a serious comedy which observes the world with eloquence, wit and humanity. The setting is New York State during the 1880s. The dedicated but self-absorbed Dr. Givings, Jonathan Martin, is treating cases of female and occasional male hysteria using a revolutionary electrical device which when applied to certain areas of the body, mysteriously relieves the distressing symptoms. Meanwhile, the feisty Mrs. Givings, Amy Straker, understandably feels neglected. She becomes friends with one of her husband's patients, an equally frustrated Sabrina Daldry, Anna Wheeler, before long, a proto-feminist revolt is creeping through the decorous drawing room. An absorbing catalogue of characters also inhabit this small, stuffy world. There's the hearty but crass Mr. Daldry, Matt Hudson, a posturing English artist, Leo Irving, Fergus Cinder, and a wet nurse, Elizabeth, Bianca Sainoffo, hired to care for the Givings baby. Hovering throughout with quiet dignity is the doctor's nurse, Annie, Ailish Moran, both individually and collectively, the cast injected potent passion and credibility into their roles to create a seamless, harmonious and impeccably crafted whole. They never once faltered, creating characters with enough substance and credibility to rank this production amongst the best I've seen at the court. Even Julian Southgate's marvelously overstuffed Victorian set becomes a star in its own right. If you want to foster excellent theatre in Christchurch, don't miss this production. Stuff.